Hey, Aries. Yes, let's do Aries. I'm going to start with Aries. I don't always go in order. I just go like with whatever I'm feeling or vibing. And I was hearing between Aries and Taurus. Taurus is in like some kind of crazy ass rush to get a reading done. I can feel. All right, guys. So, welcome in, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, hi. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I have, uh, I'm a unique uh, reader. I kind of channel messages and I also kind of uh, self coach you a little. You might yell at me, <laughs> but it's because I love you and I want to pre warn you. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on. So this spread is kind of like my own spread. It's my own unique thing. I'm going to review it with you. Hold on a second. I'm also going to suggest you listen to your moon and your rising as always. So you could get a whole clear picture as to what's going on with you in your scenario. We listen to our moon because this is like our inner guide, our subconscious kind of talking to us, how we feel about the situation that we're currently going through. Your rising, I always recommend because this is how other people perceive you within the said situation. And then your Venus could kind of more or less tell you what's going on with your love life. All right, let us begin. So at the bottom of the deck, Aries, I have four of wands. This is talking about a foundation, whether this is your foundation at work or your marriage or somebody that you live with or about to, whether you're getting engaged or you're moving in with somebody. This can also be an invitation to a, a wedding or a marriage. Six of Swords moving on into a better direction. Five of Pentacles being out in the cold. Four of Pentacles holding on to something. Page of Cups. Ace of Swords. King of Cups. Temperance. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, Aries. Thinking. Here's what I'm feeling. Um, some of you are dealing with a Aquarius, maybe a Sagittarius. What else do I have here? There's there's every element. Don't get remain fixed on the signs. Anyway, so in your recent past, you had somebody that you were waiting on and you were hoping that they would come back and work things out with you. Some some did, some didn't. Most of you were like, I am just so over it. I'm so clear minded. I'm so focused. I know where I need to go. So you cut shit out. You cut toxic things out. You know, you stop waiting for something or someone. You remained hopeful and positive. Archangel Michael started working on your behalf because they started seeing you ascend in your um, level of life, in the sense of your evolution. They said, okay, let me bring you new love or somebody new. This doesn't have to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Certainly it can be, but they brought you new love or someone who actually loves you. The only hiccup here is this Ace of Swords in reverse. We're not starting off with truth, honesty, and clarity. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. Somebody is withholding giving information because maybe one of you is afraid of um, being honest for whatever reason. This page of cups tells me there's an offer that was given to you, but it is small. It's not grandiose, but it was given nonetheless, and it was an invitation or a message regarding emotion. Four of Pentacles, some of you are still holding on or clinging on to the past or clinging on to the notion or the feeling of being left out in the cold. You're kind of not letting go of that feeling, that emotion. So a lot of you are a little bit worried or, or concerned. So maybe you're holding, you're withholding a piece of you back from either meeting this new person or opening up to this new person. Regardless of the situation, it's been um, it's been a journey for you, Aries, but you're still moving into the right direction in the right part of your life. The, the journey that you're going on is in the right direction. And this person was brought to you by Archangel Michael, and they are helping you go into the right direction that you need to. They are helping you go into the direction of a foundation whether it is your career or your job or meeting somebody that you're meant to be with as far as getting married or moving in with or having a family life with. That's sort of the person I'm reading for. I mean, we're going to see right here right now if this kind of transmutes and transforms into something else. Hang on, guys. Let me just do the general part of this and then we'll see if this is your story. If this is your story. Stick with me. It cannot resonate with everybody. Take what does and leave what does not. So, guys, the, I told you this is my own spread. This is your situation. This is what's coming towards you. This is what you're not aware of behind the scenes. Here's your advice. And we go a little bit in depth here sometimes. 
and your outcome. And this is just a weekly reading. This is approximately second, third week of September. I do four readings a month. To me, they're timeless. You're not, you can't possibly be going through the same energies at the same time. Okay, enough. Queen of Pentacles. This is a Capricorn Virgo Taurus female. She's somebody nurturing, loving. She can actually be your mother. Or this could be you in this energy, being a mother or mothering and nurturing, caring and loving. Knight of Wands are messages of passion and Page of Swords. Uh, somebody has been spying on you for a little while now. Somebody is very, very interested in you. And I personally believe that it's this person, this this king of cups here at the end of the deck. I read the bottom of the deck because it gives me the backlog and sometimes it tells me what's coming down the pike. So I personally believe that this new person that is very loving or caring, they have their emotions in check. They've been through their shit of life and they've got it all together. One of you, though, is not being honest with yourself or with this person. However, this person finds you very attractive and very interesting. They think you're very caring, loving and nurturing. And they start to message you these messages of passion. That's the situation. Now what's coming towards you, is there some sort of balance? This can also be something in finance as well. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify it. And we're going to see what this balance is. This could also be talking about you juggling to people, to situations, to careers, to jobs, to something. And we're going to go ahead and see what that is. What you don't see coming is the emperor. Some of you, careful, you might get pregnant. Others of you are birthing a new project into this world. This person could very well be somebody work-related. This could be somebody who sparks your career out of nowhere. This could also be this love interest who is interested in starting a new life with you. She gives life, the empress. Eight of Swords. Don't get stuck in your head, Aries. I repeat, if there is one message I could possibly give you, it's this. Don't let the monsters get to you in your head, like the fear of your past. Or, oh no, it's not going to work out. Oh no, don't let the negative monsters attack you. Here's your guardian angel looking at you and here are all the monsters in your head. They're just figments. Um, this is not this. This is great that this is in your advice position because it's not in the other position telling me that you're actually stuck. It's just advising you: don't let this hold you back. Do not self sabotage this or yourself or your life. You are moving into the right direction. You are being guided by Archangel Michael over here with Temperance from the bottom of the deck. Your outcome is the fool. This is your card, Aries. This is take a leap of fucking faith and you will be A-OK. -okay. I dropped some F-bombs, new people. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> if it's shocking. It's shocking. But um, yeah, please click off if you can't handle. Sorry. All right, so we're going to head and we're going to start clarifying. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is for you guys. What is this Knight of Wands in the situation? This person that has been peeping, my Aries person, that thinks that they're loving, nurturing, and caring. Let's clarify Knight of Wands, please. Page, uh, Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. First three cards is the Wheel of Fortune. There is serious luck on your side, guys. The Hermit, maybe some of you are dealing with the Virgo or a Leo, the Sun, or a Sagittarius. Doesn't matter. These are three major fucking arcana. Do you know how crazy that is? What are the odds? Seriously. The other three cards is another two. So out of the 18, hello, here are five. Just in one hit. Definitely a Leo. Page of Wands. This is an Aries card. Uh, the chariot, which is cancer. Okay. So, this person that's stalking you, peeping you, whatever. I told you Mark Archangel Michael is guiding you because he is the somebody you pray to when you want somebody new in your life or you want love to work out. So, this is him and this couple together are fates working on your behalf to make this connection happen. I really feel that this person, this King of Cups who is emotionally stable and has his shit in check, is also wise. I feel like they've had some shit go down to you, as I said earlier, 
and they have a lot of internal wisdom something about them soothes you when you meet this person you will see they will make you very very happy i think you're going to need check this out so i'm like why is chariot here with strength and page of wands i understand now you're going to need a lot of strength aries right now to calm down not rush this because you feel like a little teenager again this and this is so extremely opposite here is aries here is virgo virgo goes within they they use their internal beacon of light this can also reflect some of you aries you feeling like a little kid inside and you're trying to use your own personal strength over here to use your inner wisdom whatever this is it is telling you to use that strength to use that guidance don't rush things yes you are remaining focused and positive you're yes you're very determined because of your recent past activities and or anguishes but it's saying use all the strength you have available to you from the lessons that you recently had learned from these relationships don't rush anything this is definitely going to have a very happy outcome all right so let's continue that was very very specific P.S. At the bottom of the deck, the Five of Swords tells me that you recently had to walk away from something or cut something out of your life in order to manifest this in your world. Yes, this is the bittersweet card. These are something that you had to let go in order to win those three swords. You definitely had to walk away from something or someone to get this love from this person. Very specifically interesting, in my opinion. What is this Two of Pentacles? spirit guide what is this two of pentacles mm. i told you earlier that you had to balance something or you were trying to balance two situations two things two whatever for the two of pentacles you have the seven of swords usually this is the card about theft cheating stealing so if this is money related this could be love related relationship related you get it anyway whatever in this regard because you have the queen of swords at the bottom and the king of pentacles at the bottom in the recent past i feel like maybe some of you were dealing with a virgo capricorn taurus look at this under that is the two of pentacles again that you some of you are juggling um, your past versus this current person. Some of you have been waiting for this past person to come back to you that you cut out. You stopped talking to them. You put them out in the cold. You sliced and diced in the gentlest of ways because she has a butterfly at the tip of this sword. You cut this person, but some of, you cut them out, but some of you were kind of waiting for them to come back. And maybe you were chatting back and forth. Maybe you were texting back and forth. I don't know what you were doing. So maybe you feel like um, you have to be stealthy in regards to this situation, like how you're going to play it out. Because now you have a past person that's in your world, including this new person that just came and entered your world. And you don't know what to do. So you're sort of juggling both people in your mind. That's why this is in your advice position. Don't get stuck. Don't get yourself stuck and get crazy. You're going to have to be use you know not stealth moves because usually that's what it talks about but this is saying like sneaking around trying to like maybe play both not play them but play it right for you because you might be talking to these two people so you're trying to juggle two situations which works best for you Aries it's just saying someone here and it could be reversed there could be somebody here trying out of these two people that you're talking to one of them could be trying to play you like try to get away with something so you need to be careful and discern what that is especially with the queen of swords at the bar on the deck this very much tells me you have to discern 
what is what, what is real, who is right and who is real. Because I have a feeling that once you start talking to this new person and you start putting activity in your social media, your past person comes back, oh shit, I'm about to lose Aries. And now all of a sudden they're talking to you. So you're trying to juggle both or maybe you're waiting for one or the other. You're, you know, you're in your mind trying to figure out what's the right solution here. While the other person might be sneaky wanting to come back into your world because whatever waste your time it's winter i don't know they need a snuggle bunny for the winter you're, you're gonna have to be discerning because this is at the bottom of the deck the empress whoever this new person that's coming towards you they like you a shitload like legit like you what is this empress it's like you gave up on the past person and all of a sudden they're in your face again all at once yeah, and it confuses you. You Oh, wow. Right on point. Right on point. Right after you healed your recent past, after you let go of somebody, you bandaged your heart, you took out the daggers, and you said to your past. Then all of a sudden, this king of cups or somebody that lo loves you, likes you, comes along and offers you. Then your past is like, oh, my God, should I talk to Aries? What should I do? And that confuses you. You have to decide between the two people. <laughs> Do you know in my other decks, it's only one person in the two of swords? In this deck, I literally have two individuals. And one of them, you have to decide what kind of future you want to have a new life with. That's what you don't see coming. Very interesting. Eight of swords. Yes. And this, this, having to make this decision is going to burden you. It really is. It's going to make you a little defensive. Look at that. Two of pentacles. Juggling two people, two situations, two scenarios. You know, there's thousands of you Aries out there. It's all different. Please leave me comments. I read them all. Eight of swords. Clarify eight of swords. I love your comments. All right. Very interesting. So in your advice position, we're clarifying eight of swords. Don't let the monsters get to you in your head. Don't make a rash decision, please, for the love of God, Aries, for all that is holy and how much I love you, Aries people, please do not rush your decision in regards to who you decide to be with. This is in your advice position. This is why in your situation you have strength, the strength to make the right choice to not be a teenager over here and be like this wise wise decision do not rush look at the bottom of the deck the tower thank god we're reading in the in the this isn't actually happening this is in your advice position so it's saying do not let the monsters get in your head don't let negativity take over please don't make a rash decision because the possibility of you cracking down your foundation and here's your card is possible but guess what the, you know what I feel? I, th this is the feeling I got. I literally got an image when I saw these two cards together. I saw a phoenix rise from the ashes. Like I literally saw its wings spread. Because I feel like you're about to come and embark on this new life, this new journey, Aries. And you're about to come into your empire. I'm talking about everything. Job, money, career, family, love life. It's all finally going to gel. At some point, I feel like you Aries were telling yourself, oh, I can only have one and not the other. Bullshit. You're about to create an empire. Pfft. Holy fuck balls. Guys, seriously? This is the this is like a ridiculous power couple. This is a ridiculous power couple coming towards you. And it's probably going to happen after this. After I feel like you cut out something or someone from your past that was no longer serving you, you realize it and you know you're going towards your true destiny. You are about to become a power couple with somebody. If it is not coupled them, it is definitely a partnership in work where you're about to blow the fuck up. Like in the biggest and best of ways. This is crazy. And why I feel this way? I have chills. You have the fools, your outcome. Let's do the fool. Why is the fool here? Please clarify the fool. No, that's half the deck. Sorry. Don't do that. Two, three cards, please. Why is the fool here? I feel like sometimes it does that to me, so I rearrange the deck. 
one shuffling. All right, let's see what is this? Mm, the Magician and the Nine of Swords. All right, so you're stressing right now, a lot of you uh, Aries. Okay, you're manifesting a new future. Because I want you to understand that these are clarifying the fool. You're about to take a leap of faith and you're going to embark on a new journey. Even though you're doing it, you don't give a shit. You're brave. You're doing it anyway. And it might keep you up at night. You're like, what did I just do? Where am I going? What am I doing? It's stressing you out because you're scared a little bit of the fact that you took this leap of faith. But this is what attracts everyone to Aries. You are brave. You're go-getters. You're, you're initiators. You're, you're, you're starters. Fire starters. You have everything in your tool belt to make this happen, whether it's a job, career, or relationship. You're done. This tells me you're done with your karmic cycles. You're absolutely done. You're ready for something legit, serious, and real. Something stable. Something stable. You're done. You you are home. You are in your you're about to embark on growth, giving birth to something brand new. You're about to meet your soul life. Holy shit under that card. Guys, I can't. Here's what happens. Once you, and under that is the four of pentacles. This is holding on to something or someone. And under that is the three of wands. This is you waiting for something or someone. No. Once you let that go, this new love that comes in brings you your, your life partner, your soul partner, your, 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 your empress to your emperor or vice versa. Your emperor to your empress. This is a power couple. This is coming. This is coming. You just know that you need to cut it out. Some of you instinctually feel this. Guys, huge shit is going to come coming knocking on your door this fall. Huge shit. I really need to clean up my tongue, don't I? Let's get something from the Romance Angels for the Aries. Third week of September. Pfft. Engagement. Some of you are engaging in this new partner. Some of you will get engaged. You will, this new love is seriously no joke. You will probably get engaged. Some of you I have a feel like will get engaged by next year, like January, like in months. There's passion. Believe you me, you guys met somebody new. Heart to heart conversations. What's this one? Deception. Boom. Somebody here is either one deceiving themselves regarding this relationship scenario situation. That's why I saw earlier the Ace of Swords in reverse. You guys, I don't know if some of you are not being honest with yourself, or you're not being honest with that person, or it's vice versa. Be careful because you have the power to meet somebody that is potentially fascinating, amazing, and you guys could be a power couple. Others of you, this is the, the past person trying to come back and deceive you. I want you to be careful. I want you to be discerning. I want you to be like, no, not this home girl, not this home boy. Sorry. You, you guys know better now. You were going through a major cycle over the summer. Major, major cycle. You're coming out on the other end. With full-blown lessons learned, you know it, you feel it. You, you, you're, you're, you're in your power. You're beyond like the king and queen of uh, wands right now. You're low in emperor emperor status. And I'm talking about in the 3D world, not the 5D in your head. All right, guys, to wrap this reading up, take time to breathe out. You have done so much work, Aries. I'm so proud of you guys. You have done such amazing shit for yourself to finally get to this point. You can let it out. You can actually breathe right now. If something was out of your life, there was reasons why I kept seeing tower, tower, tower. It just had to go because the universe wants to give you something brand new. Show the world the real you. Please don't be honest with this person. Tell them how you feel. Tell them what makes you scared. Tell them what makes you nervous. Tell them that you're not into games. You, you Tell them that you want stability. Don't be scared that if you say something, you might lose them. No. Show the real world you. And some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Nothing yet is set. Nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing is finalized. Yeah, that's probably why you have this two of pentacles here. You're trying to like balance something out. 
don't let your past hold you back at the bottom of the deck. 100%. Don't let this happen, guys. Stop waiting for something. Let the universe do its magic, and it's about to. All right, guys, leave me comments. Love you very much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye now.